this is that sit back and look real real cute hair girl you just put the hair on sit back and just just look cute let the cuteness just come out hey you guys welcome back to the channel so today we have another synthetic wig review yay and I'm sorry, I'm coming to you looking like I'm about to tell your future with this scarf and these earrings. And I am wearing clothes. So let's get into the video today. So the wig that we have today comes to um, us from Bella Bella and it is um, a lace front wig. And I have it in the color 2T27. Um, this wig is really pretty. I love, love, love the color. Now, recently, I just did a wig from the Genus line that this wig slightly looks like because it's straight. But this one's really long. Like, this wig is about 30 inches long. And the reason why I know it's 30 inches long is because I took some bundle hair that was 30 inches. And I started it from here. And I ran all the way down. And yes, girl, it's 30 inches. But it's really pretty. Now, it looks like it's supposed to be a middle part. So, there's a parting area right there. Which parting area doesn't look too bad. I'm pretty sure if you want, you could shift it um, and make it a side part. You do get two combs in the wig. You get two combs on the side. It looks like right directly on the temple. And then you do get the comb in the back and adjustable strap. So, it's just your regular cap construction. This is the inside. I like to show that the wefts are nice and thick. So that's nice. You do get that stretchy piece. So if you need to get it over your braids, my hair is pretty flat. So I shouldn't have a problem with that today. Otherwise, the wig looks pretty good. Let's go through the ombre. Now, I will say I like this ombre because the ombre is all along the wig. It's along the hairline there. So that's nice. Let's see how much inside it goes. Looks like... So it looks like just up in the crown area is where you're getting the ombre to number two and you get it along the sides. I like that it's along the sides because y'all know I be trying to like blend my sides in. So that's good. So I'm going to put it on and let's just see how it looks before I cut the lace off. So as you can see the hairline isn't that bad. It's pretty full but I'm telling you this ombre color that's on the bottom that number two T is so so pretty. I just went in and I plucked a little bit in the front so that it wouldn't um, fall in my face too much. But that's all I'm doing right here. Um, and I was going to put like some edges out or whatever. But I didn't even do that because once I laid it down, I saw that it looked just really, really good. So I just went ahead and cut off the lace on this. The lace does come ear to ear. It fit all the way down, which I like that as well. So if you want to glue it down um, or tack it down with um, got to be glue um, spray or ghost bond or something like that you can because the lace um, is really nice and like I say um, it goes down really flat now I did um, tack down just the front and basically I just did my like forehead region just so that the part wouldn't move because when you have the middle part I didn't want it to like slide back or anything like that and I didn't have a wig grip so that's what I'm doing here and I did take a few hairs and just lay them down to make them flat but I did not um like I said I did not cut them to make baby hairs or anything like that this hair is just really cute I really 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 like it um I think you can wear it pulled in an updo as you see I'm just pulling up the side here to kind of see how it look because of the way that ombre is um or you can wear it like just straight down either way it's just really really pretty now i did go through it with the flat iron that's just to get some of the flyaways that is a con that i do have that you get a lot of flyaways with this but otherwise i mean you need to keep your brush around because girl it is 30 inches and you know what that means 30 inches is gonna tangle it's gonna be a little frizzy but you're gonna still be looking cute you do So, I know it's from Mother's Day, so we're a little gift. You got a gift for me? Happy Mother's Day. Oh, wow. I'll give it a gift. Happy Mother's Day from you? Yep. Thank you, Jazz. Okay. We all made it, so. Who I got, you I got my, school? I, yeah, we all made it, the, both classes. Nice, Jazz. But I got mine today. Some of them, like most of them gave theirs. It's a, um, I don't want to spoil it. Nice. You have to open it. I open on Sunday or open day? You mm, have to. On Mother's Day or today? Today. Okay. You can open it. Mm, I don't want to spoil it. But okay. 
Because I was like dying to open it, but I don't want to spoil it. final look for Miss Mina and I absolutely absolutely love this wig even though it's really long this wig is like a perfect um synthetic wig in just all the right ways so the first thing I'm going to get into is going to be my cons I always like to give you guys the cons first um really the only con i see besides it being 30 inches which hopefully you know that when you order it is that it does tangle and it does um get frizzy i did not get shedding but those two things did happen now the tangling i'm not too concerned about because look how long it is i mean this hair is 30 inches so you're going to get tangling um, and the frizziness, I ended up taming that by using a little bit of got to be glued, um, spray and just going in with my flat iron. And I think that took care of the frizz and gave it just a very, um, nice shine. Those are going to be really my only two, um, cons pros, pros, pros. Oh my goodness. I have so many pros. The first pro is the color. The color is beautiful. Now, this color is a little bit different than, like I said, my other 2T um, um, 27. And that was wavy. And it seemed like with that one, the two was like throughout the waves. This here is only ombre at the root. And then looks like other than that, you get the 27. So I'm not sure how true the 2T 27 is. It's, to me, it's more like an ombre, but I don't know. It's still beautiful in any rate. The next thing I like is the hair density. Although this hair is long, it still has a natural density. Like, look at that. It's not too thin and it's not too thick. Now, I know long hair isn't um, a part of everybody's summer wardrobe. But for me, if it's like this where I can get underneath it, I can wear it. And when I say, I mean like to an event, to something where I'm going to be um indoors or something like that i wouldn't see me sitting outside in it but i mean to something where i'm going to be in and out of the heat then i could see myself wearing something like this because again it, it moves you can put it in the front you can put it in the back if you wanted to you could even wrap it up and put it in a bun or you could put it into just a long ponytail so that way you can get um airflow through your neck or you know around around you and everything it's not just like thick just sitting on you so I like that. Um, I probably mentioned, I like that it's 30 inches. Now to me, this is how 30 inch wig should look. You got 30 inches. So when I say 30 inches, you don't got um, 28 here, whatever. You got 30 inches from, looks like from the part all the way down, it's about 30 inches. You do get natural tips, which you know, I always brag about that. And I love that because it's not too um, choppy. It's not too wimpy at the tips. It is just a natural flow of how your hair would naturally grow. Um, so I really like that. Um, cap construction on this is nice as well. It feels real good. Don't even know I have on a wig. It really doesn't even feel like it. I have my hair braided going back. And as you saw, I only use a little bit of freeze spray just to um, do the front. And so I like to do that sometimes, especially if I'm not going to wear the wig for long. I don't want to just like have to put the spray all over. So I just put it in the front, like right here. That way it keeps that part down. Now, um, I did not take out any hairs on the side, but if you want to, you could do that. And that way, if you, that way, if you only did the top up here, then you could go in on the sides and kind of take it out. That way, when the wind blow back, you know, it wouldn't look harsh or anything. I think this wig is so nice and full that I wouldn't have that problem. And I'm always concerned about that because the way my hairline comes out, this hair is really pretty. I, I really like this one. I'm telling you, like, it is some beautiful, beautiful hair. This definitely gives you a bundle look. If you like straight hair, long hair, um, that bundle look everybody going for, this is really it. Like... They nailed it with this one, Bella Bella. And I have my most favorite short wig is by Bella Bella. And it's this red wig. And I think of the name of it is Alexis. 
favorite all time favorite wig love that wig um for a short wig it seems like whenever i get a bell bell wig that their wigs are just really nice made really well um and they're just really nice i think i have two or three other long wigs from them and they're kind of different style but that's why i kind of wanted to try this one because the last one that i got from them it's like a blunt cut at the end still beautiful but it's just a blunt cut at the end and then i think i have another one where it just looks like um waves and that one is supposed to be um 100 human hair but i don't know if it's a blend you know but this one here is really cute i really like it i mean like i said i can see myself wearing this um even in the summertime definitely in the fall but i can see myself rocking this to an event i love it so if you ladies are interested in picking up Miss Mina, I will leave all the information as usual in the description box below. If you have not yet, please subscribe to the channel, consider subscribing, and don't forget to turn on your notifications, hit the bell next to the subscription button, and you'll be notified every time I turn on, or every time I upload a video. And if you are a returning subscriber, Hey girl, hey, how you doing? Hope things are going good for you. And if you guys decide to share this video or any of my videos on your social media platform, please do not forget to tag me in it. If it's Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, it'll be Beauty by Mark. I'll see you ladies in my next video. Bye.